For a while, I was thinking of illustrating our new book with lino cut prints. So I'm learning all about cutting lino and printing. It's very exciting. But I don't have a press of any kind, and even the small ones cost many hundreds to buy. So I thought perhaps I could make one. But actually, there's a whole lot of engineering in this sort, where you roll your lino and paper through a set of rollers. But this sort might be feasible. It's just a kind of vertical vice, really. That shouldn't be too hard to make. The problem is that your prints are limited to the size of the plates. And as you increase the area of your plates, the amount of pressure you need increases by a factor of four. So if you want to print something big, then you're talking hydraulics. And it will be very hard to keep these surfaces really flat. So I came up with this new design. I'm calling it a rocker press. I cut the pieces out of four millimeter steel with my plasma cutter, but layers of thick ply would do too, I think. Though you probably would still need some steel for the bottom plate. This was my first attempt and I learned a lot. <laughs> I didn't use a roller to bend the steel because I don't have one. I was able to bend it around the forms okay by hand and by foot. I didn't want to kink it at all so I worked it slowly around the forms till it took the new shape. But as it bent it became slightly concave across its width which obviously means it wouldn't work properly. It's slightly hollow across the top. See the gap in the middle? That shouldn't be there. When I make another one I will either get the steel rolled properly or else give it more support. And so I'd have three or four ribs and not just two. But I was pleased with the rest of it. There's just a tack of weld in the four corners because welding would distort the surface of the roller too. Eventually I sanded out the concavity on my bent sander but it took a long time because it was a millimetre out in the middle. Uh, it's still not perfect but good enough to try out the principle of this thing. It probably doesn't need to be so tightly curved anyway but it rocks satisfyingly well. It weighs about 5 kilos so the momentum keeps it going Here's a design I drew up. Uh, it's based on a photograph, but it's a drawing. And it's cut from real lino. <laughs> I could tell it was real lino because the dog started chewing the corner of the roll. Mmm, lino! The first batch of ink I tried was too thin. It's just not, it's not rolling. It just wouldn't grip the roller, so I couldn't roll it out properly. So I mixed some thicker black ink in with it. Very dark now. Called anyway. This is a rocker press. A rocker press. Well, I don't know if they exist really, but uh, this is something I just kind of made up. Ready? Mm -hmm. Right. First attempt. Wow. That looks pretty good. Maybe a bit too much ink on that one. Push. Right. Do that. 
it worked fine too. So maybe I put too much on the first time. Just put a bit more on this time. Something like that. Don't know. Don't know. Where are the experts when I need one? I'm sure you'll get lots of expert feedback from all those experts out there. Leading on both sides. Nice and faded. Now, obviously, this isn't a very big print, but the principle seems to be sound. My plan is to make a much bigger version of this press. One that you can stand on if you need to. At least it would be fun to try it. <laughs> Any thoughts? Especially from printers?